Hey Church, welcome to this week's devotions. Great to be with you again. My name's Darren, uh, one of the pastors at uh, Audacious Church based at Manchester Campus. We are looking at the book of Jude, going through it over the next few weeks and the devotions will be based uh, around that. And we learned last week that Jude was telling us to contend for our faith. There was lots going on, lots of fake out there that was trying to pull people away from the truth. And he um, he spoke right into it. It's great uh, that we get this from the, from the Bible. And let's just look right now at Jude 1, 20 to 21. It says this, But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you eternal life. We're going to look this week at building yourself up. We know from last week's devotions, as I said, that Jude is calling us to contend, confront, argue, grapple, push back, fight and defend the true faith against our enemy. We have an enemy. You and I have an enemy who wants to snatch us away from Jesus by twisting, manipulating, selling us a counterfeit faith. Genesis 3 says, did God say when when the serpent challenged Eve on her second hand faith? He said, did God say? God wants to use the letter of Jude to help us expose those false teachings and to prepare us for the fight. Here in the above verse, we see Jude encouraging us to build ourselves up. But how do we do that? Have you ever bought a diamond? Did you know it was real? How could you tell if it wasn't a fake? Like me, you probably trusted the jeweler and looked for the certification since on your own, you could never be 100% sure. The average person doesn't have the depth of understanding about diamonds. Or, or valuable gems. So you could, you could be convinced that a fake stone is actually real, but to a gemologist, professionally gems and gold, who knows diamonds, studied diamonds, comparing a real to a fake, the fake can be spotted from a mile off. And therefore, they couldn't be deceived into believing a fake diamond is real. Why? Well, because they've built themselves up. They've learned, they've studied, they've got knowledge, they've got understanding, they've got wisdom in diamonds. And so they know that a diamond is real or fake because they've built themselves up. The problem today for many is that we don't really know or understand what we believe. And if we don't know, then how can we know if we're being deceived? If we don't know the faith in which we are contending for, we'll never know when we're compromising. The author and theologian N.T. Wright said to find people who today are saying that God loves everyone exactly as they are. So everyone must stay exactly as they are, doing all things they want us to do. Because God is so full of generosity that obviously he wants them to do that. Find people who today are saying that Jesus is just one religious leader among others. One of various ways of salvation among others. That there might be, well, be a variety of paths up the mountain of which Jesus path is only one that is important not to make exclusive claims or will be arrogant find such people and you found those whom jude is writing these are the thieves mentioned in john 10 10 false teachers leading astray it is important that we build ourselves up seeking to have a depth of knowledge and understanding and personal first-hand revelation this week through these devotions we will look at how to do this first though Take a moment right now to pray and ask God to help build yourself up and have a teachable spirit. Also this week, whilst we journey through Jude, read Proverbs chapters 2, 3 and 4. Take some time to do that. Highlight some, scre some key scriptures that stand out to you and get ready to grow and get stronger in your faith. Build yourself up. God bless you, church. Have a great rest of your day and see you soon.